here at the AHR Expo, and one of my favorite people for building science is Nikki. Hello, Ty. How Hi, you Nikki. doing? Oh, it's so good to see you. Good we always enjoy you. seeing you. Oh, thanks. When people think of air conditioning, they think of, you know, being comfortable in their house. A lot of people are now learning about food refrigeration, but a lot of people overlook the humidity side of it. So what can you tell us about that? So we invented whole house ventilating dehumidifiers. Um, Ultra Air was the brand. Everybody's probably a little bit more familiar awesome. with that. We combined Santa Fe and Ultra Air last year. We're seeing a huge increase in the interest of whole house ventilating dehumidifiers. Reason being is building construction. We're getting our houses tighter and tighter, which is great Good. to reduce the amount of AC runtime. Absolutely. But the reality is, is our AC, we've counted on it to dehumidify. And even in the shoulder seasons, there's a lot of challenges, you know, when dew points get high of, of keeping that humidity level in check when the AC isn't running. And we always call that kind of partial load times of the year. But our houses are getting so tight that even in hot, humid climates, our houses are running at partial loads. So we need something to, to control that humidity for comfort, for the health of the occupants, and also for property protection. A lot of people overlook that property side of it. They think of, oh, I want to be comfortable, but they, don't, they have their huge investment in their house, and they're overlooking the fact of you get all this moisture in the walls and what it's doing inside of there. Absolutely, and, and building construction alone contributes a lot of moisture to the house the first couple of years, just the drying of all the materials. And then we add ventilation, code-required ventilation, sure. bringing in that outdoor air, again, for a health standpoint, um, and then we have people generating moisture in the house. So we, I know there's a lot of strategies that a lot of builders, a lot of homeowners, HVAC contractors have attempted to control the humidity, but the reality is of actually keeping it to a specific set point, which you know our, our manual J is uh, 75 degrees and 50% relative humidity. If we're trying to maintain that 50 spring, summer, and fall, the only way to do it is with supplemental dehumidification. Exactly right. A good example of that would be think of a, you live in a humid climate, the weather is beautiful outside, but the humidity is so incredibly high, it's going to be uncomfortable and also detrimental to the building. Now, I've never lived someplace at a basement, but I've also seen you install systems and in working with dehumidification for basements and crawl spaces as well. Absolutely. A lot of times, um, you know, someone, a homeowner calls and said, I'm having humidity issues. So my first question is going to be, well, you know, are you on slab? Do you have a basement? Do you have a crawl space? So if it's a crawl space, we need to make sure that we encapsulate that crawl space correctly to bring that, that into the part of the envelope of the home. And then we add a dehumidifier because about 50% of the air that's below the home makes its way into the living space of the home. So our first strategy might be conditioning that basement or, or crawl space to a set relative humidity to help try to solve what's going on above. So basement, same thing, cooler temps. We don't want to be pumping a lot of air conditioning into our crawl spaces and basements to control humidity. Right. They're already cooler spaces, which, you know, every degree you go lower, our psychrometrics exactly right. <laughs> in temperature, the RH is going to go up. So what we're really concerned about is dew point in those spaces. But controlling that humidity down there oftentimes can, can contribute to more comfort up wow. above, you know, so, and we do include a MERV 13 filter in our dehumidifiers, so you really are getting good filtration um, for the ventilation air. If you choose to use the unit for ventilation, you don't have to. If you're using another ventilation strategy, you can have the unit just dehumidify the home, but you are getting that ventilation capability, so that's really good filtration. Really awesome. I've been using the ultra air systems for a very long time, solving problems that you can't with the typical refrigeration system. And the more that I learn, the more I realize I don't know. And that's why we have other experts that we can lean to. And I'm always learning from Nikki. And when a lot of people in the industry think about air conditioning refrigeration, they're not thinking about all the stuff we talked about just now and the dew points. All the stuff we're going to be talking about soon, we're going to be making a video for psychometrics. But what about careers? Like, how did you get into air conditioning? Um, I got in uh, from a PR aspect. I have a communications major. And uh, from a public relations standpoint, in order to be able to talk about all the technology, I had to learn more and more. And so then I started getting into certification. So I'm a HERS Raider. Um, at one time I had the NHAB, uh, HB Green Building Certification. And just what, what are the builders and what are the trades dealing with and how are our products solving that problem? 
And so the next thing you know, I'm diving into building science. And even one time on, I was on a plane reading, I don't even remember what, probably one of Joe Steenbrook's book or Andy Ass. And someone asked, are you an engineer? And I'm like, no, no, I'm not. But I'm trying to learn. Um, and being able to, I think, um, be able to take that really detailed technical information and try to communicate it in a manner that is easier to digest is, is what I strive for because that's what I need in order to be able to do that. And so I started working on building codes and stuff like that and it really, it's a passion. A, 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 indoor Absolutely. air quality is a passion. You ha and I think, you know, we've seen a lot of things um, on Brian Orr's HVAC school is, you know, you have your, your work hours during the day and then you have to decide how much time outside of work am I gonna invest in my advancing myself and passion is what you have to have in order to do that. Right. So, and that's how I've gotten here and how exci it's exciting and, for me. And now you're a leader in the industry. Yeah. Well, I, thank I, you. I look up there and <laughs> she's up, you'll see her in basics, you'll see her in attic, you'll see her in crawl spaces moving around, you'll see her solving problems, podcasts and shows. So if you ever get the chance to meet Nikki, if you need to look at the humidification stuff, we have the Santa Fe systems, they're amazing systems. I have no connections, no monetary connections. No, no. Just known Nikki for a long time, love the products. But you're thinking about air conditioning, think about that dehumidification, think about careers related to dehumidification, the building science of it, and think about the manufacturing side. They don't just need people there, they need people to understand and know this stuff. And, and it's a big part of the trade. So it's not just air conditioning, not just refrigeration, a whole lot more goes into air conditioning refrigeration. Now, if they wanted to get a hold of, uh, do you have like a website or something sure. we can send them to? Sure, Santa-Fay-Products.com is, is the website, but we're on LinkedIn and Facebook and Instagram, and I'm very active in a, in a lot of the contracting groups as well. Do you have any information for somebody that's wanting to get into the trade? Somebody, that's, any, any advice for somebody? Oh, embrace it. I, I mean, everybody should really be looking into the trades right now because we need people. So we need males, we need female, we need everybody that is interested in, in not just looking at, well, that's an HVAC career or, or a builder career, but this is people's lives. We need this. We need indoor air quality. We, and all of this is really around that. It's not just, well, I'm an HVAC contractor. No, you, you, we need you. You are making the difference in people's lives. It is the coolest career with the hottest jobs. It is. It is. <laughs> well, Mickey, thank you so much. Can't thank wait to you. see you again. Yep. Thanks.